happened. Wait, hold on. <laughs> you can't see me at all. Ready? Yeah. I think we got a little bit of mail, Kyle. Brian? Where are you? Brian? Kyle! I can see you over all the mail. Uh, so we got a little bit of mail. A little bit. Um, it's been a while since we've recorded a mail episode. Um, I'm gonna start. This package here came a long time ago, and like should have been in an older mail uh, unboxing, but I forgot to open it, and we forgot to include it in that. So we're gonna oh open this. Boy. And this one, I believe, is from France. <laughs> yes, this is from uh, Adrian, I believe is the name. Um, <laughs> but I know what's in it because they uh, for customs they had to put what was in it, so we got shirts. <laughs> Yay! And a movie. All right, get the trash bag. <clears throat> Try not to make a giant mess. Nice. Where we can get to it, maybe. What right. do we got? So, uh, oh, first we got a little, little piece of fan art, which is cool. Oh, nice. A little good, better, bad, bad fan art that'll go on the uh, the bulletin board back there. Uh, <laughs> I love Neil. <laughs> then we have a movie. Yeah. Uninvited. Oh, and, yep, yep. I know that. And one. we have a note here. Uh, it's got George Kennedy in it. Hi, guys. Proudly offer. Yes, it does. I see him right there. Proudly offer you my favorite B movie. I saw it at least five times. The cheesy French dub adds to the pleasure. This is a story about a mutant cat killer. <laughs> and we're all going to die a horrible death. <laughs> Uninvited. Starring George Kennedy and Alex Cord. You'll never look at a cat in the same way again. Plus T-shirts for my former, for my former cartoon show uh, substitutes in English on YouTube, Les Locataires Les Oreilles. I don't know. It's dot com. <laughs> uh, oh wait, he got a pronunciation guide. Les Locataires Les Oreilles. That's not too far. Lacey Ray. Lacey Ray. Lacey Ray. I don't know. I don't speak French. I, I actually took French for a couple. I years. speak French very poorly. <laughs> I, yeah, I speak French very poorly. Uh, keep the good work going on from Adrian in France. And this is September 2020. So this is, <laughs> like I said, I forgot. We, this one got buried in some We stuff. are so sorry. We apologize, but we did get to it eventually. Um, and we have two shirts here uh, for the cartoon. Um, so first shirt is... And I guess, again, this is from their cartoon. Yeah. Awesome. And then, Which, by the way, yeah, the, the little uh, comic strip we got, I love the art style for it. It's that same art style. Yeah, similar art but, style. Uh, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's great. I look like uh, me in I like 10 years. I love Yeah, right. <laughs> and then um, the other one, which I guess this is the main character from the show or something. <laughs> Cover. It's a very interesting beard. <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for those shorts. Uh, super cool. Super interesting. Thank you, Adrian. Go ahead, Kyle, if you want to crack okay. into something. Let's see what we got here that I'm not destroying, hopefully. Uh, well, this one is from Las Vegas. Is it Neil? Did Neil send us something? Oh no! I hope Neil sent us something. Oh, cease and desist order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wondering how long it'd be till we got one of these, and it does have an Amazon gift message. Oh yeah, it. we don't have that, do we? No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> says killer tire. That's all I'm going to say. Enjoy. From Bob Edges. Thank yep. you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, it's the movie is. Go yes, ahead. it is rubber. It is a sentient tire with telekinesis who is on a warpath. Yes. Also, it sounds like the disc is. Oh, up. it's loose now. Everybody, this is what our killer looks like. Tire. We Thank have you guys. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna. This one's just a letter, um, so I'm just gonna open this individual letter, which is also from France. It would appear. Oh, I hope it's all in French, and I get to decipher it poorly. The the postage says uh, Republic Francais. So 
Republic like, Francais. Hey, you never know. That could be a French state that's out in the middle of the That nowhere. is true. It could be, yeah. <laughs> like uh, Marnique or something like that? It may be. I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's from Strasbourg. Hmm. Uh, dear Brian, dear Kyle, I sent you a DVD of a film called Druids to your B.O. P.O. box. I hope you received it, and if not, it will probably arrive soon. It may be in here oh, somewhere. So this may knows? be... It may be in here some. Uh, I came across your channel while I was looking for GB or BB stuff. Like, I guess you mean like good, bad movies. Good, bad movies, yeah. Yeah, because the way it's written is like you were looking for us and then came across us. So oh, it's okay. Like, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I guess I should stop using abbreviations when I'm searching porn on the internet. Oh! <laughs> uh, I love your videos, but I'm disappointed you almost never talk about works of French artists. Oh, God. <laughs> sure, you made an episode. Uh, sure, you made an episode of Pitoff's Sh uh, Chef Duvert, Catwoman, but as far as I know, no episode yet about uh, Jeanne Swark's Supergirl. Supergirl. This makes you think, wonder uh, what a French-directed Wonder Woman mo movie would have looked like. Superheroine and a lesbian. So we are definitely going to have to dip into the international scene at some yes. point. It's just easier for us to interpret <laughs> yes. uh, American-style acting, if yes. that is a thing, yeah. because we are American. <laughs> uh, some context here in France. Versa... Getterix, Versen Getterix, Versen, Versen Getterix is a national icon on par with Joan of Arc, Napoleon, or De Gaulle. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention the original title of this movie is Versen Getterix, The Legend of the Druid King. <laughs> you want to fight? You want to live forever? Then I will lead you. Uh, why did they change the title to Druids for the international market? I have no idea. Because um, Druids is more identifiable. Yeah, because I guess some, some D and D nerd's gonna be like, "Whoa, this has got to have magic and shit in it, and they're elves." But, but, but I'm, try, I'm trying. I don't want to. It's a very long letter, and I appreciate, it, but I don't know if I want to read the entire thing. So I'm trying to get to some cliff notes, um, cliff notes moments here. Um, with a relatively big budget for a French film and an international cast, Versen Getterix, ahem, Druids was supposed to be the French Braveheart. Oh. The script was written in collaboration with Annie de Lesa Luc, a historian specializing in the Gallo-Roman period. According to the press kit, 3,500 costumes were made for the film. It was shot simultaneously in French and in English in, ten in anticipation of an international release. So I guess this was set in like the, uh, the Roman Rebellion in France? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so what went wrong? Here's how Christopher Lambert, uh, who plays the titular character, <laughs> describes the shooting. On paper, the role was impossible to refuse. He is the French hero... Uh, for excellence, he is the guy who made France. Things were constantly out of control. The funding was not there. The director was extremely lenient, and the result was exactly what it should be. Oh, it was a big disappointment concerning the movie, but also as an actor, it was a big disappointment because I think it could have been Braveheart, really. The director uh, we, was all over yeah. the map. Do we mention who Christopher Lambert is? Yeah. He's Highlander. Highlander, yeah. yeah. Uh, first week of shooting, we realized we were heading for a fall. It was a disaster. In this situation, you're thinking, okay, I have four months of shooting. I need to give a thousand percent instead of a hundred. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. So he tried to pull Kevin Costner in Waterworld. I, yeah. That's de facto, like. I was acting as producer, psychologist, second unit director. I was always doing something. It was my most difficult shooting on a psychological and human level. Wow. When the director is already under the influence at 8 a.m. and at 3 p.m. he become, he is completely drunk, yelling end of shooting in the middle of the extras. It becomes unmanageable. The crew had no respect for him. The production had no respect for him. The actors even less. Uh, yeah. Wow. So uh, critical failure. Um, some of the unintentional humor may be lost in translation. Christopher Lambert yelling, Guala... Gaulazi? I don't know, from some French. In the manner of de Gaulle can make a French audience laugh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see if we get uh, that movie in here somewhere, because then we'll, uh, we may have to check it out. But thank you. Uh, what was the name? Jerome? Jeremy? Um, no, I guess so. Jeremy. 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 <laughs> um, um. Galouise. Galouise. <laughs> Galouise. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. Uh, and hopefully we have druids in here somewhere. But appreciate you sending that along. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, and all that information. Very interesting. Oh, God. This is from something called Telehell. Telehell? Telehell. Telehell. Yeah. There is no name on it for people who were upset at us one time posting addresses on it. There is no name associated. There you go. Oh, my God. Okay, well, here. I'll try. I will try to read this letter, although it has been known that I am illiterate. 
Oh, we have a... What the heck? <laughs> Great. Telehell, greetings from the underworld, gentlemen. A little bit about myself. I ran a podcast called Telehell, a show where we look at the worst TV shows of all time and rate and punish them using Dante's nine circles. There you go. Nice. Sometimes to help raise funds for our show, I'm trying to find a word, we buy and sell old DVDs and CDs on eBay. The movies we've enclosed look too, uh, look too much up your alley to sell. Fantastic. While there are descriptions of each film on the back cover, I'll do the Cliff Notes version. Okay. First one we have is uh, Cl The Clown and the Kids. It's a 1967 film. And <laughs> you have to ask your grandparents who Emmett Kelly Jr. was. He's just a clown, right? I guess so. Yeah, he looks familiar. He's, star he's the main star. I imagine the main star of the film. Yeah. Uh, standard 1960s family film about a circus clown f from an evil mustache twirling that looks as if it was shot on par. Oh, my God. Sweet. Cool. Little Heroes from 1999, they think. Uh, the fact that this movie has a Roman numeral for the copyright date... It does. <laughs> is one of is the movies least of the movies problems. They still do Roman numerals. Yeah, that's pretty I, common. Is that Universal who does that mostly? Yeah, this okay. is 2002. Yeah. Would be the, the, the Roman numeral that's on here is uh, 2002. On the surface, it looks like a typical dog tries to save the day. Yep. Don't we know that fucking movie? Yep. <clears throat> uh, it says he's going to take a bite out of crime. Not since Home Alone has fighting yeah. crime been so hilarious. <laughs> he says, but uh, deep down, this movie tries to rip off Home Alone poorly. Uh, as yeah, so they, this just sounds a lot like the dog who saved whatever. Yep. It's man versus canine. It can't be that difficult. There's also a subplot about the tobacco company. No joke, it's a company called the tobacco company. Fantastic. I resign today as president of, of the, the tobacco bank. company. <laughs> See what else we got. Uh, Roadside Romeo. This is an animated film that looks like maybe it could be our first animated oh movie based on the God. the quality. Last film is either good, bad, or bad, bad. Good, bad, or good or bad. It's just meh. Oh. Uh, but it's at least very unique. See if you can follow me here. This is an animated film that was made in India. You don't say. <laughs> but was distributed by Disney. But it's not a Disney film. They want to specify that specifically. Yeah. Yash Raj Films and Walt Disney Pictures present. The film is about a dog who used to live a privileged life, but his owners abandoned him when they moved. So I guess it's... <laughs> Hold on. I got to read this. The, the first line of this. This is the story of Romeo, a dog who is living a life of complete style. He was a complete dude. <laughs> he was a complete dude. Basically, if you're old enough to remember the bongo segment on Disney's Fun and Fancy Free, it's pretty much that for only 90 minutes. <laughs> I guess that's the, the soundtrack. Uh, yeah, so it's got English and Hindu subtitles, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah. This is the story of Romeo, who was taking care of life. The chicks, the money, the cars. Romeo. And then finally, the last one. This one looks like a wheel of the worst. Oh, my God. It is a how-to DVD on making cocktails. Yes, the ultimate with... Kettle One cocktail guide. <laughs> one. Why? That's amazing. Why? <laughs> Brian will get way more use out of that than I but will. But, like, we've never done, like, a something like this. That's it for now. The spring, summer is my thrift shop, uh, shopping season. If you come across any more, that's in our way. We thank you very much. Otherwise, I love the show. I've been a fan for years. And if you're ever willing to make a trip to the underworld sometimes in the future. Fantastic. Let's hope not too early. Yeah. Uh, they also gave us a, a, a nice little telehealth card at the end. So thank you, guys. We definitely appreciate that. Sweet. Uh, next package we got here is from Robert. Uh, Robert sent us three movies, technically. Um, two discs, but, you know, three movies. Uh, the first one is uh note says all i remember from this movie was how odd it was enjoy and that film is rockula oh, rockula the love story that rocks like a 
bat out of hell. Rockula. Does anybody go bowling anymore? Uh, and it appears to be uh, rock and roll Dracula. The back, the the blurb at the very top of the back says he's a 400 year old virgin who wants to rock all night. I don't, I don't know, but what? <laughs> yep, Rockula. So that's the first what? one, <laughs> Rockula. Uh, and then we have um, the next one. I found some movies you may enjoy. You go from the greatness of. Pierce Brosnan to the not so greatness of Billy Ray Cyrus. Best wishes to you both from Robert Hunt. Oh, no. Robert. What the uh, fuck? And this is a uh, two movies called Detonator. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Pierce Brosnan's in both of them. Though. He is. Look at the front, dude. Look at that stash on the side. Oh, one. the stash. Yeah. Uh, but it, he said Billy Ray Cyrus, but it looks like Pierce Brosnan's in both of them. But uh, uh, Patrick Stewart's in the first one. Yeah. As, it looks like the villain. Michael, it's Malcolm Philpott. Why don't I get back to you in a couple of days? Michael, Europe will be gone. There'll be a private jet waiting at the Lexington airport. Bring work clothes. Um, that's fantastic. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we'll check out Detonator. And Detonator 2, Nightwatch. Two agents have uncovered an international crime. Well, that would make it showtime. And they're the only ones who can expose the conspiracy behind it all. When the eavesdropping phone gets the signal, bingo. This is from a website called halfpricebooks.com. So it better be a book or else it's false advertising and we're sending it back. Oh, God. I should have just taken scissors for it. Uh, this just has the shipping information. So, but it is Radical Jack with Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, that, whoa! That may be. I wonder if that was. That was the that. second part of the note I had. I think. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, no one can hold him back. Why, in God's name, did Billy Ray Cyrus ever think that he could do any acting stuff? But there's one thing they don't know. You need to get your ass out of here. I ain't going nowhere. They don't know Jack. There's no way this son of a bitch is coming in and making me look like a fool. Jack, what you? The whole town saw him kick the crap out of both you guys. Just stick with Acre Breaky Heart, and apparently 30 years later when your career is revived by little Nas X. True. <laughs> what the fuck? True. Um, so this next one, there's no note, there's no nothing. It's a Blu-ray. The movie is called The One Amazing Movie Z. Generation Nexus Fusion Zenith Master Edition. And it's what the cover is like. What the what is this? Cartoon avatars. Matt Steven. No, Drew, that is assets from like fucking Blender or something. Matt Steven Drew are three severely psychologically troubled young men who have seen a lot and been through quite a bit. <laughs> Pushed to the verge of homicidal suicide. <laughs> Spelled wrong. <laughs> suicide is spelled wrong. It's spelled suicide. No I, no first I. How is it homicidal suicide? Because they're, maybe they're going to kill themselves and other people. You know, kind of okay. like that kind of deal. Sure. Uh, these three figured that the only way to turn their broken lives around is by finding success at the highly prestigious international trade show known as IT3. So I think we're going for an E3 or whatever. Yeah. Kinda. The, their hopes are to find investors to help them invest in their makeshift HMD virtual headset, the Hyper Mental Homeboy. Unfortunately, like all things in life, things don't work out for these VR designers, ex-hackers. Things don't work out the way these VR designers slash ex-hackers had in mind. Three friggin' gorgeous models offer them the gig of a lifetime. These boys must team up with the virtual VPM All-Stars to hack into Sonata's Yenna Media, what which is the nefarious is backbone this? of Hollywood and the multimedia. And the multimedia. The nefarious backbone of Hollywood and the multimedia. That one amazing movie is the world's first hybrid movie that crosses 4K live action visuals with hyper stylistic CGI animation. You're right. You're the first movie to combine CGI and, and live action film. Uh, VR boys, crank it up. It's climax time. Oh, my God. This may be intentionally bad. It's also, Kyle, three hours long. The runtime is 180 minutes. No, thanks. Luckily, we've got a solution for this generation. Sims has won indirect world domination. VR boys, crank it up. It's climax time. Virtual reality. What? Eh? Now, three psychological boys must team up. <laughs> so thank you to whoever sent us this. There was no note or anything, so I don't know. 
Um, <laughs> okay. uh, this one just says, all scanned, delivered in tub. All scanned, delivered in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on from the post office. They put that on oh, there. Oh, okay. Oh, and then a reminder of a closed drive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see what we got here. Hey, guess what I found? Kyle, there's another note there. That was in this. Oh, this oh was? that's true. Yeah, yeah. and it's from Jeremy. <laughs> uh, enjoy your gift. I will send more details about this movie there in a separate go. message, we, which we totally opened up. We ran out, out of order because order. we weren't sure what was what. So. But my God, this looks fantastic. That, yeah, Christopher Lambert looks amazing. It's got Maximon Seedow in it as well. Yep. According to the cover. Fantastic. Thank you again for that. Uh, we talked about earlier. Hope you guys like these movies. Calamari Wrestler and Executive Koala. So we have Calamari Wrestler. Oh, the back of this. <laughs> Did, will we get this already from somewhere? Because the back of this looks like porn. Let me. Jesus. <laughs> 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 it looks like she's sucking off his yep. jet tube. Yep. And this guy is getting kind of the business from behind. Uh, this person says, I sent you this a while back, uh, but the USPS misdelivered it. Uh, this is an awesome, good, bad movie. I assume, I don't know which one they're talking about, but... Um, and then uh, the other one is Executive Koala. Oh, hey. uh, available for the first time in the U.S. Um, it, oh, this is the follow-up from the same director to... Uh, it's the follow-up to Calamari Wrestler. It's a cult classic. Sai Koala Horror Comedy. So there you go. Uh, these are neither of these are are they're both not rated. So I'm thinking, well, unsurprising, they may have some uh, adult content. Uh, this is from Bob. Thank you, Bob. Yes, for thank these you, Bob. <laughs> interesting looking films. <laughs> oh my God, no, no! It's a box in a box. Ah! Well, a box in a bag. Oh, here we go. We got a. Let's see, what we got here. Oh my God, Raw Rev. Raw Rev has a long history of supporting arts, creativity, health, environment, and other causes. When an individual organization is this catches a... our eye, we love to connect. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly <laughs> yeah, this what is. is. This? It, they have, okay. Our mission is to wow our customers with taste and nutrition and a bunch of stuff. And um, it looks like did we, somebody send us like a a grains pack? Oh yeah, somebody sent us a, or did, or maybe did we get a product? Like did we get a Kyle? Did we just get like a free product from somebody trying to get a commercial from us? Do you know what I mean? Like is that what this is? Is there a note? Where's that note that you were just reading? Oh, it's granola bars. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They. It was somebody from their social media team sent us this, hoping we would open it and talk. With, We're not doing your crummy commercial. <laughs> I'll eat one, and I'm going to tell you if it's shit. What flavors we got here, Kyle? I'll try this one. This one's creamy peanut butter and sea salt. We have birthday cake. Oh, they're protein bars. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Double chocolate brownie batter. Here. Peanut butter. What do you have? I got peanut butter. In Is that what you want? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Too. Mixed nuts. I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna try the double chocolate brownie it's, batter. It's it's a very uh, very heavy blend. Also, these are very. I don't know how long this has been in the mail, so it could have been there forever. What do you think? They're protein bars essentially. It's not too bad. Mine's the ch double chocolate brownie. Oh, this is the chocolate. It's got that grittiness of protein bars. Um, so, yeah. This one doesn't have as much of that. You don't have to eat it all if you don't want oh. mm. It's got a little bit of the flavor of, you know, you can tell it's a protein bar. Mm. It's got that, like, protein powder flavor. But it's not bad. Mm. This one's very chocolatey, which works. It's not super sweet, but it's good. This one has, like, that cardboard aftertaste to it. Yeah, they have a little bit of the... I mean, again, you know what you're going to do with protein bars. bars. Like, it kind of tastes... Um, 
These are uh, a bunch of marketing bullshit on the label about it being, you know, uh, real organic raw superfoods. Superfoods aren't a thing. I don't need to get into that right now. But um, <laughs> there's lots of marketing speak. Uh, they're they are gluten free. If you're, you know, you can't eat gluten. Non GMO, which is also doesn't matter. Not doesn't a really thing. Mean, it doesn't <laughs> it's really mean marketing much. bullshit. So, <laughs> um, but thank you, Raw Rev. I guess for sending us <coughs> protein bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to get a free commercial. I say free. It's, it costs whatever the price of the little box was. Um, but I actually do eat protein bars for breakfast occasionally, so it's not the end of the world. For, like, I actually, probably will eat these. <laughs> Um, and yeah. they're not bad. Yeah, a little, little heavy, but not a little as heavy. dense. Not, not as dense as other protein. Bars. Mine, uh, mine has. Did yours have? Mine has like gooey chocolate in it. Did yours have like a, yeah, a filling bit. or something? No, no. It was mine was more of that that dense compact shit. No, yeah. in the middle. This one is, but it's got like liquidy chocolate hmm. as well. That's good. All right, there you go. That's all you get. <laughs> That's our first product that we've ever gotten, Kyle. <laughs> we have a five dollar off. Uh, Order here. This is the code if you want to get some of these and use a five dollar off. There you go. <laughs> Just your freeze frame and your product placement. Here, so I did that one. Here, you can start with that. No, no, do I'll do this one, then you do that one. Or wait, this is the first box. We yeah, well, well, but these these are not related okay, to these cool. two, so we'll they do these two last. They're all USPS, so they all yeah. work the same. Here, you go, you do that one, and then I'll do this one, and then you do that one, and then I do this one. I'm trying to dissect this piece of paper off here. I don't know if there's a note in it. I don't know if this is necessary. I'm having a lot of issues. Do you need, here, do you need a, yeah. this? Okay, there's not a note in that. Yo, if, uh, if one of those companies that makes, like, gaming chairs wants to send us one of those, I will do a review of it on a... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> on a video. And like gamer headsets and stuff. Yeah. If you just want to, if you just want to send us free shit. I mean, protein bars are cool, but I would take some other free shit. And now it said on the, this is from VTK. Okay. <laughs> we got, we got gift, gift card. Cards. Somebody sent us money. <laughs> Uh, dear gentlemen, can you shill our pro- I'm kidding. <laughs> can you shill our products? Oh, man. One shill per mailbox. Victor Tango Kilo, which is just, you know, called names. <laughs> Not my real name, obviously. Uh, gentlemen, I am sending you each a gift card. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. already a Patreon subscriber as well. So, damn, you are awesome. <laughs> We're going above and above. Yeah, they sent us a $50- uh... I guess I make sure I don't show the back of this. Although I'll use, I'll use it before the episode comes out. But yeah. uh, they sent us one, a copy of one of his favorite bad movies of all time, Santa's Cheerleaders. Uh, this might actually be just Sat bad Satan's bit. Cheerleaders, oh. not Santa's. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stan's Stan's Cheerleaders. Satan's Cheerleaders. Oh my God. <laughs> Tonight will be a night of glory such as we have never known. Oh, he sent us each a copy of it. Oh, sweet. Oh, my God. Oh, this looks very, um... I'm sure this is a very like respectful and uh, poignant <laughs> horror film, and not yes. at all an ex exploitation <laughs> movie. Uh, he would also recommend Free Fall, a uh, Jacqueline Smith. It's also got Bruce Boxliner, and it is a very, uh, very young pre-Star Wars Hayden Christensen. It's like uh, Air Panic, but done as a Lifetime movie, <laughs> and it's on YouTube. So we'll look into that. Yeah. Hey mom, you gotta check out this uh, this new cyber junk web page. It's awesome. Pieces of data just floating through space, and if you can haul one in, it's yours. Hi, Mark. Patrick, how are you? It was a trans-regional wide body, flight 662. Isn't today? Yes, it's a six. What happened? Jet crash, no survivors. Also sending a copy of some sci-fi novels. So they wrote or just ran? Uh, his, yeah. 
Not we sure. have Meridian Victor Kilo. Yeah. Which, by the way. Oh, wait, is that the person's name? No, no, that's their pseudonym. Oh, that's their, their writer. Okay, yeah. their pen name. Which I, I kind of like. Victor Kilo, <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, so one of them's Meridian. Oh, are these in order? Yes. yes uh, okay. They, they are kind of like Star Trek type adventures written in a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy style. I'll be the judge of that. I'm a big <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide fan, and you can't just say that about your own books because you're probably not Douglas Adams, but maybe. Who knows? Says he thinks they're pretty good, but I'm sure that, I'm sure Alex Mazinette thought his films were good, too. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's three-part book, Meridian, Eden World, and <clears throat> Bo- Bodacia? Bodicia? Boadicia? Says they're all available on Amazon, and... Uh... I really... I really like the covers of the second two. The first cover's kind of boring, but these second two covers are, um... I can't see it. These second two covers are pretty gnarly. I guess I'll have to do one at a time. But those are kind of cool. And he's hoping that one day Neil Brain gets to direct his MCU-style movie. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, so, uh, yeah. Victor Kilo. Yeah, thank you, man. Was that there was any awesome. other movie or anything in there? Or is that it? No, that was it. Uh, but thank you for the gift card. Very unnecessary, but yes. appreciated. Uh, and the movies. And the books. What a fun little treat. Wow. Um, all right. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. So, oh, much, so much packaging. So much bubble wrap. Oh, my God. So much bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, take a handful of those. Uh, is there not a note? Do you see a note? I don't see a note. Um, the This is from Megan. Uh, I took the, 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 the so, packaging off. This is from Megan. So Megan, you, you Megan. are already starting me off on a high note. The 1994 unreleased film Fantastic oh. Four. By the way, I fucking love that they did it in the comic book yeah, style comic book of style. having that That's over neat. on the side. That's fantastic. That's so awesome. From the pages of the world's greatest comic book adventure, four heroes on a daring mission in space, but something went wrong. Genetically transformed, they become the most powerful superheroes of all time. I love it. It's got all this, all the great stuff on the back too, and it's like done yeah, in the old art style. style yeah. oh, <clears throat> so cool. I have Spring Fever USA, uh, which is a very uh, scantily uh, swimsuited woman um naked women all night parties and raging hormones mean only one thing spring break this was mike hammer's gun but i took it from him then pistol whipped the wimp hey it's a mondo bizarro psycho psycho i'm gonna blow your ass to hell first let me give you this free sample of lemon juice shut up uh so this is like a spring break sort of movie it doesn't say like what kind of movie it is but maybe like an action who knows uh, uh, kidnappers, so probably like yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, Ray Bradbury's the wonderful ice cream suit. <laughs> what? It's also got James uh, er, Edward James almost. Edward on James it. almost. How do I reach these keys? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what. To, uh, shines in, in a historical story about a fantastic set of clothes. I guess it just makes ice cream. They're five ordinary guys. All for one, one for all. Who are about to share the one thing in the world that can change their lives forever. Hi, right, gentlemen, here we are. $100 vanilla ice cream white suit. Magical. <laughs> uh, this next one is, uh, I got all the butts on mine. The Naked Truth. Nice. Butts on the cover. Jeez. Um, and it looks like. It's got Shannon Tweed. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's also got Lou Ferrigno. Eric Estrada, Little Richard, and some other people. Uh... It's very serious. <laughs> it is a multi-feature with Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Kathleen Heigl, Wilmer, Wilmer. I, I have oh, no the, we have that movie, the dead one. We got yeah. that. That one oh, yeah, itself. I remember that. Yeah, right yeah. here. And then but the nurse. El Muerto. See? It's this one. Nice. But they changed the name for... They put it in English. Huh. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a collection of incredibly bad indie films. Yeah. My heart next to your heart. Para siempre. Para siempre.
interesting. The nurse is the only one that doesn't have like a name associated with it. So I'm guessing it's like the truest of the uh, indie films. Yeah. Uh, then we have Double Jeopardy, uh, which <laughs> appears to be a rock climbing uh, murder mystery love triangles. Maybe. I don't know. There's rock climbing on the back, uh, but it looks to be like a romance kind of like drama type of thing. Double Jeopardy. Uh, I'm actually somewhat the... familiar with that one. Are you? Cause... Yeah. Uh, so it is a man who's convicted of his wife's or no, a woman who's convicted of her husband's murder. And, but... I think that might be a different. I think that Am might I be a different, a different one movie because there's I definitely know it was called Double Jeopardy. Is this in the 90s? Uh, this is 2008. Oh, definitely not the same one then. Oh, wait. The dead one's in here? I'm confused. Wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on Kyle. Look, what is happening here? Look. What? What? What is... What? What the fuck? What? What? Kyle, what is this? But what it also just does, happened? It also does have double jeopardy, but it had half of the... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What's in the inside art there? What? What's in the inside art of double jeopardy? I don't think anything, is it? Yeah, no. Flip. Pull it out and flip it around. Oh, it's just, I don't know. It's just like rock. Oh, I think it's the rock wall from, like, I think it's, I think it is like the the rock. Okay. That's Why? freaking weird. What the fuck is this? Why was it I don't know. covering half of the... That's so weird. It's like they made their own double feature case. But I, that's why I was confused because I was reading the plot of... Yeah, and then it gets just and cut it, off. I, the, it, well, but, and it's the plot makes no sense... And like the actors listed in the plot, I was like, Wilder Valderrama, he's not on the cover of what? I don't know what. Okay. That was a whole experience. Um, I got the testimony of Randolph Carter. Is that in an Xbox 360 case? I, Is that the only one that made green cases, right? <laughs> like, I feel like I've never seen a green DVD case except for Xbox maybe. 360. Uh, according to the Lurker in the Lobby, this one is the oldest amateur Lovecraftian film to ever known to exist. It was shot in the summer of 19. 19- 87 on home VHS tape. Uh, so, okay. This, <laughs> the image and sound quality are a little harsh. Don't touch that! I'm sorry, old boy. It's just that I... It's all right. I understand. Uh, and then we have... Pretty Persuasion with Evan Rachel Wood, Ron Livingston, and James Woods, and Selma Blair. Uh, and I don't know what the plot is, but it looks like Evan Rachel Wood is about to kiss um, the the one actress from um, 30 Rock. Behind me lies one of L.A. County's most exclusive private schools. I'm very glad that I was born white. <laughs> A safe haven for the children of the rich and the privileged. We will not tolerate racial slurs at Roxbury. The blonde actress from 30 Rock. What's her name? I can't. Oh, my God. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah I can't remember her name, but. The devil wears a gray skirt and her name is Kimberly Joyce. Okay. There you go. So All thank I was you. able to get from that is that Ron Livingston and James Woods are apparently still able to get in films. Yeah, Ron Livingston's still doing stuff, right? I think he is. I think so. Um, I don't know. He's living off that. He's living off that uh, that home DVD sales of uh, Office Band of space. Brothers. Oh, and Band of Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the Band of Brothers uh, sales are pulling pulling their weight. So that's the first oh box. Oh my God! We that, have more presents from it's, Scarface. It's Dean Simber celebration from yeah. Scarface. Dean Simber in June. Actually, probably more like July when this episode comes out. If that early, we'll see. Oh, good lord, Scarface. Hey, we even got it right. Kyle turned open. Hey, it did the wax seal again. Yeah, the, I like the... Yeah, nice. you got to show it on this one, Kyle. Not, yeah, there you go. Oh, well, you're out of focus because you're too... Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'll go ahead and peel that off slowly. Oh, we also got... We have a yellow wax seal on. What? I bet you got the... Um, I was going to say maybe the, the Gryffindor Harry Potter wax sealing kit <laughs> from Barnes & Noble because <laughs> they had red and yellow in the... <laughs> See what we got here. Oh boy. Oh, you got another wax seal. A there. silver one. Yeah. Greetings, friends. I am writing you a letter of means of means that I am quite excited <laughs> to show you guys. I am illiterate. Uh, this package here shows my huge support for <laughs> the channel and how I look forward to every episode that you guys put out. Thank you. 
I do not wish to repeat myself, or to re <laughs> I do not wish to repeat every time I write into a letter to you guys. I cannot read Brian at all. I am having very difficult. Oh yeah. Time. You're fine. Words. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I may not always reply or talk when you guys are in a stream or on Discord, but trust me, I will keep be there to see the channel grow. But and I'm keep always growing. watching. I'm always watching. <laughs> Just keep up the content, and I can't wait to see you guys see what you guys have next. Uh, also, in the special government sealed box. Okay. Um, I hope you guys can put one of. Uh, uh, Put one behind the both of you. What? Put one behind the. I so, guess in the shot. Well, there's so if it's talking about and this is the second box had these two identical. Because yeah. I think they came out great and okay and want to show this. Can you just finish up, dude? I'm, I'm gonna go. You're I'm, all good. Come. I'm having a stroke. Uh, also, in the special government sealed box, I hope you guys can put one behind the both of you for future shows because I think they may come out. I think they they came out great and shows that the channels. And shows that the channels, them colors, can def defiantly be, oh, definitely be made for more merch items. See you guys next time and have a, to be fair, there's a little bit of. Okay. I, <laughs> by the fantastic way. Fantastic week, month, and year to all the viewers out there. Uh, your support really makes the show the best it can be. Sincerely, Scarface with a silver Scarface. I'm sorry I never graduated second grade, everybody. You're fine. <laughs> so I'm assuming maybe we're supposed to open those first. I think they were these, in yeah. the first box. But we'll Let's see. do all these first. Yeah. And these look like they're identical, so. Maybe one of them is for each of us. I don't, I, Kyle, I'm feeling this. It's got an interesting smell. I want to know what this is. I can, it feels weird. Well, I know what this is. It's I a box. I think it might be a shoe. Here, give me the paper. That's it. It's got an interesting scent to it. And that would explain why. What the? F candy. Melted why? candy. <laughs> so much candy. And by the way, this was written uh, April 10th. Of, oh, of 2021, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a bunch of random candies. Oh, from like here's Mexican around candy. the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are all um, Voto Mongo. Like not not American candy. Oh my god, that's just a straight up no for me. Oh, has it got like bugs in it? <laughs> I I don't know, but it's like a sappy molasses substance that's I'm, wrapped in on a. Fucking oh, it's stick. just on a plastic spoon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I don't know. It looks like there might be a bug in there. I don't know, but this so it's hard to see, but this is literally just like yeah, like caramel, like on a a plastic spoon in like. Maybe Scarface made these, like this at least. I don't know. This is called Pulp of Tamarind? Tamarind? Sorry, Scarface, but I'm not eating uh, the rubber banded spoon <laughs> candy. <laughs> the other stuff that's sealed, like actual packaging, uh, I'll get down on. But here, I'll try. Let's try something. We got, um, oh, is this gum? This looks like gum. Yeah, I don't, this is gum for sure. I don't want to eat gum right now. Uh, then we have. Doesn't this look fucking appetizing, Brian? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, tamarind is pulp of tam. Oh, it's fruit. Yeah. So this is just like a fruit squeeze, but it's definitely doesn't look super appealing. <laughs> no. We have to have a, a video where we just try this random shit, Kyle. Not right now, but uh, we may have this to is do the same tamarind pulp stuff. Yeah, but that looks like more of a candy bar. All right, so is this empty? Yep. Okay. But yeah, this is, this is a definite no. This looks yeah, so fucking... I, I, like, I appreciate, but that that is... Uh-uh, I'm sorry. I don't, know, I don't know what you lace that with. <laughs> yeah, I don't... The rest of this stuff is like actual packaged candy, so... All right, Kyle, I think these are identical, so I think we're supposed to both... That looks like gum to me. I think we're yep. supposed to both open... All right. Here, I'm going to try one of the gums. Oh, no, it's like a... Oh, yeah, it's gum. Oh, it's gum with juice in the middle. <laughs> it's not bad. Like, it tastes good, but I wasn't expecting... Oh, my God, this is absolutely shoes. Is it shoes? I thought it was shoes. I was like, it feels like a shoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a good, better, bad, bad themed shoe it's a good, that better, Brian's going to have to fucking Holy wear. Holy shit. Hey, look at the back. Oh, yeah. They're branded. 
This one, that one's good. That one's bad. Bad. This one's good. Bad. Ah, that's amazing. Look at You're that. gonna have to wear these because my fucking Are, feet aren't gonna. Yeah, fit these no. look like 13s. Did he look up my shoe size? Let's see what size they're. Uh, no, these won't fit on me. These are in between. Well, that, that, to be fair, I wasn't gonna wear them. These are 11 and a halfs. What size do you wear, Kyle? You don't have to say I'm gonna reveal what it says. I'm sorry. Like nine. No, it's five. But they're not quite big enough for me. Um, I'm they try look. This out too. They look. They look big enough. It, yeah, just prepare yourself for the liquid and like it's good. Like it tastes mm -hmm. good, but I just wasn't. <laughs> no, but this is incredible. These are fantastic. I mean, it was one thing for the colors, but then when I saw the. Uh, that's that's, that's dynamite. So, that's super dope. That's super cool, Scarface. Thank you. Yeah, these will definitely go in the background somewhere. Throw one on a shelf over there. What do you got? A red facing or? Well, I, I have the. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's incredible. Thank you, Scarface. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get into the second letter. Uh, again with the yellow seal. A little bit shorter. Uh, d uh, I write the second letter to you because in this box, my parents would like for you guys to try this bag of candy they brought over from Mexico itself. Well, that seems like it should have been the first. Did we maybe mix these up maybe. or something? Um, it is from my mom's hometown of Mexicali and are her favorites. Her and my dad hope you could try one or two on camera to see how it is and put a third one for Katie as well. From the motherland itself, have a great week. Good, better, better. So, yeah. Um, you might try the, one of these. Yeah, we'll try something else. We got gum. I'm going to have to spell mm -hmm. the gum. I do want to try these. These look interesting. Um, we'll try some more. But like I said, the spoon ones <laughs> yeah. were just a little scary. I, oh, don't, no. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, but thank you, Scarface. That's uh, We don't appreciate it any less. It's yeah, just... we, it's not that we don't appreciate it, but it, yeah. Okay. Here, take. Those look like they're similar. We have two little boxes here. Is yours in foam? Yeah. I bet it's a coffee mug. This is often how coffee mugs are packaged. Ooh. <laughs> Just throwing scissors around. It is a coffee mug. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god. So many good bads. Good, bad, 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 good, bad, bad, bad. Look at that. Well, thank That's you, Scarface. Awesome. Thank That's you, cool. Scarface. I actually like, I do have quite a few coffee mugs. I enjoy coffee. I like to, it's a nice mug. Yeah, definitely. Put one of those up in the back. High background. quality. It's got girth. Yeah, it's definitely got some weight to it. All right, and then we got three more here. Um, yeah, grab one of those. Oh, boy. No, these are all different, it would appear, so. Yeah, let me go first. The gum is very good. Oh. By the way, Scarface, your uh, poster is up in the studio, the ones you sent a while ago. This is, it's like. Oh, it's the it's a small version of one of his, uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, it's like pressed in but out. I don't know. It's interesting. Huh. Yeah, that is weird. The hanging's not quite set right. No, but it's a... Yeah, why is that little, like, plastic nub there? I don't know. But it's a... Uh, here, show it to the camera. Yeah. It's one of uh, Scarface's action comic uh, Good, Better, Bad, Bad fan arts. Uh, which yeah, it is looks really cool. awesome. Yeah, it looks great, which I've seen... I remember you posting that somewhere on Facebook or something at one point. It's really The cool. problem is the, the hanging devices. Oh, let's, I, I, it's all right, because I use um, command strips anyway. Nice. I don't use nails, so... Got to get that... Uh, that deposit that back. That deposit back. <laughs> we got some shirts... Or a shirt. Looks like maybe a Oh, God, Kyle. <laughs> I know what I'm looking forward to. Is it t-shirts? Yes, it it's a shirt with us on it. So there's Kyle. That is amazing. Wearing a Kyle shirt. It's Kyle with Kyle on his shirt in a Kyle shirt. It's so much Inception. Wow. And me <laughs> in a me shirt. That is delightful. I love this. Thank so you, Scarface. Good. That is awesome. Thank you, Scarface. <laughs> All right. Last one 
is uh, like a comic book, maybe. Kind of what it feels like. I hope, I hope like. it's like a first. I hope it's this. The action comic yeah. first edition. Oh no, it's <laughs> a calendar. I don't know what it is, but it's. How do I get this? Just rip it apart, Brian. Rip it apart. Is it a uh, hold on, hold on, hold on? A good, bad, or bad, bad calendar? No, well, I don't know, but the front is government secrets. What? That's a calendar. It is. It's a good, bad, or bad, bad calendar. Oh. <laughs> so let's go through here. We got our first one. Uh, I think this is uh, inspired by um, after last season. The the yes. little the little yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> for January. Then we no. got adorable little us holding hands in a field. Thank you. For, Fe for Valentine's Day, Aww. Kyle. <laughs> I'm making sure this is in the shot. It is, okay. Then we have <laughs> so us as uh, war generals. Kyle looking very upset. Me looking also not <laughs> you kind look, of you're upset. just drunk. <laughs> I'm just like, eh. you're like, You're like Grant. You're just hammering back a few. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have me uh, with my Coca-Cola, my delicious Coca-Cola, brought to you by Coke. What, Boy, that, what does like that say just for above you? Uh, only four ninety nine dollars this summer. <laughs> nice. I just want to pay for my delicious Coca-Cola <laughs> for April. Then we have oh. uh, our long-haired versions of ourself, our, uh, our uh, Kaiway, or no, whatever the... <laughs> Hey, my cat made an appearance. I like, in this I like how you have a beard. Still. I still have a beard. <laughs> Brian Chan and Kyle Chan. And then we have uh, me as a pitcher for the Cardinals. Are you sure? Yeah, it's you. Oh, well, the beard, I'm uh, yeah. assuming. It's I was about me. to say lefty, though. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I guess it could. But yeah, I think it's just based on the beard, it looks like. I think it's supposed. Oh, mm. and it has my name right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Spelled wrong. Well done. <laughs> Eight miles C. an hour. <laughs> Missing the C. <laughs> Uh, it's also, this is my birth month, so yes. I don't know if you did that on purpose or got Maybe. lucky. Hey, oh, me as a hockey player, Brian Slammer Shilligo for the boys. I like it. I love it. With some doves, because <laughs> of course, why not doves? <laughs> then we have, oh, there's the Kyle. Look at that. Kyle Weeben. <laughs> we Pretty sure he, he puts you on to, uh, that might be Matt Adams, I think. Like, that might be, like, Maybe. animated onto Matt Adams. It looks like Matt Adams follow through, and he's a lefty, so. Uh, <laughs> yes. And then we have uh, all of us, uh, or both of us, um, as karate fighters or something. I don't know. <laughs> Reminds me of Syndicate Smasher. <laughs> yeah. And then Neil Breen, and then. Oh, uh, Santa from. Um, uh, Reindeer Games. Yeah. Or, or um, it could be Reindeer Games, or it could be, uh, isn't there Dean Kane? Doesn't he dress up as Santa in one of them, no, like with a gun? No, no, Probably no Christmas Rush is what you're thinking of. Yeah, does he not dress no. up as Santa in that one? Okay. Also, I feel like, all right. Then we got <laughs> the Thug Life uh, album cover. The Thug Life chose me. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, bo and that's both of us doing oh our, um, our John. Uh, John uh, Boy. Or, not Lithgow. Um, John, John Boy, Boy yeah. Then we, oh wait, I might have skipped one. Nope, I didn't, right? October, November, yeah. Good boy or bad boy, bad <laughs> films aren't the only thing they're after. <laughs> I believe that was our Ben and Arthur. <laughs> yeah, Ben and Arthur cover. And then finally for December, uh, yeah, uh, which we actually have this on the wall. You sent us a full-size poster of this not too long ago, and we do have it up on the wall. Um, which I love I, it. It's a good one. I like that one a lot. Do your part. Enlist today. Subscribe to Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad. So that is delightful, Scarface. Thank you for the Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad calendar. We'll definitely have to put that up. I'm sad we missed a couple months on it. I don't know when you sent this. No, it was April, April. so yeah. yeah. Was that the shoe? It was Yoda. Yoda just jumped off the... Just took one for the team. Um, so we're in... What are we in, May? Mm -hmm. There you oh, go. God. <laughs> Kyle and Brian Chan. <laughs> Uh, but thank you, Scarface. That's amazing. Um, tons of cool stuff. We'll hang all this art up in uh, various places. Um, last thing, Brian. Let's try a couple other pieces. I'm going to try this one. I'll try this. I'll stick this gum into this. We have nine minutes, and we're almost out of battery, so we're oh going to slam God. it quick. This is Duvalin B. Sabor. What this looks like to me, based on looking at it, is kind of like a um, Kinder Egg, like the inside of a Kinder Egg. And uh, it came with a little spoon to eat it. 
Ter- Termindo great uh, pul- Pulperindo. Pulperindo. Uh, so this looks like strawberry and chocolate, like icing. Yep. A strawberry and chocolate, like icing. <laughs> oh my god, this is like molasses almost. This is like a Kinder egg, basically. Very similar, as a frame of reference. What do you think? <clears throat> Thoughts? <laughs> it's actually got spice to it. Spicy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is just sweet. It was just like eating icing. <coughs> Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to try one of those. Hold on. Before the cameras run out of battery. It's sweet and spicy. Okay, I gotta know. Pulperindo. Ooh, that's different. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yep. Oh. Well, that reminds me of something. Woo! Yeah, right? Woo! (laughs) Oh, (laughs) it sneaks up on you. Oh, what does that remind me of? There's some candy, powdered candy with salt. That stuff looks pretty cool. It's called um, Portico. What are these? Can we try? Oh, those are suckers. Never mind. Yep. All right. I'm going to try some of this red stuff. Oh, that's really spicy and different. I was ill prepared for that here. Here. Scissors. Is this going to be spicy too? <laughs> what is it, Kyle? What's happening? It's different. Oh, it's Oh, it's salty. Mhm. And sweet. <clears throat> It's like a, reminds me of a chick stick. Yeah, a little bit. That's interesting. It's saltier than you would expect. Mm-hmm. Really interesting. Yeah, this one got some moisture in it. Uh-oh. Authentic, tasty flavor of the little parakeet. <laughs> is what it says. All right. That's interesting. Uh, so this is my favorite of the thing. No, the gum was probably my favorite. These are good. It's just icing. It's just like a Kinder Egg, like the inside of a Kinder mm-hmm. Egg. Um... This was really They're interesting, but uh, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it's really <laughs> spicy. Yeah. Well, not it's not even that spicy. Like to be fair, like it, there's lots of spicier things. This kind of has that same kick to it. It has a similar flavor, um, and it's I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of something. And um, then this stuff is, is oh, that's this stuff. Is I also don't want to get it everywhere. Like it's just this stuff. Yeah. It's just like in liquid form. It looks like yeah. instead of a like a bar. Fascinating. And again, sorry about the, the spoon things. We're just we're not going down that road. <laughs> I don't <laughs> little, but anyways, uh no, super cool. Uh we're running literally our batteries are about to die and yes. we're running out of time. So thank you, Scarface, and everybody who sent stuff in. Tons of really cool stuff. Yes. We appreciate you all a ton. Really fun, uh really delightful. If you want to send us stuff, the PO box is on the screen right now and we'll open it in a future video. Uh and we love you all, we appreciate you, and we'll see you, see you next time. Bye.